well, I just remember being very young and one of my earliest memories was wanting to play guitar and sing at the front of a band and do your hair and, you know, try to look as cool as possible, you know. When you grow up, that's what you do, you know. That's what I thought, you know, you're supposed to play guitar and, and put product in your hair and wear tight jeans. And um, So La Bamba really spoke to me in that way, I guess, when I was a kid. And um, I don't know, it's a story about, you know, a young Mexican kid who deals with uh, poverty, deals with racism, and he's, he's got a bit of talent and people kind of... Um, He's encouraged and discouraged along the way and he ends up he ends up coming good and buying his mum a house and I always thought that'd be a really cool thing to be able to do. I think the thing about that is is that he's able to, like I said, just you know, break down all those walls and all those barriers just by just by being himself and rocking out, you know. And he can he can be full on with this guy if he wants and he can bite and take the bait if he wants and you know, I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you, there are times where where I could have been a bit more mellow, you know, and I could have just let my music do the talking, absolutely, you know, being a young, bit of a young hothead, you know, never any violence or anything like that, but I got a bit of a, a bit of a tongue on me and I can, it can get me into trouble sometimes, you know, but um, there have been times in, throughout my life where I've just been judged and put down and just whatever, 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 and then people have heard me sing and, you know, and they've shut up, you know, and I really, uh, I think that's a very powerful thing and I feel very fortunate and, and humbled to have been able to do that.